Okay, so my stupid saxy video was uploading and it's taking eons, so what I'm going to do in the meantime is make this tutorial. Hopefully you already know some basic stuff about Source Filmmaker, so with that said, uh, I guess we can begin. <laughs> so, as you can see here, I have my uh, voice file, which I've pre-recorded. So, that's my little file there. If it'll pause, okay. <laughs> um, so anyways, what we're going to do, you can do this in basically any uh, good editing software. I'm just using WavePad Sound Editor. It's pretty fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file as a WAV file. It is PCM uncompressed, which is the format. And then what you need to have is uh, 44,100 hertz and then uh, 16 bits in stereo. Hit OK. And I already have my saves thing set up. So I'm going to exit out of there. I'm gonna go find my file. Okay, so now that I've found my file, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my file, I'm gonna go left click to copy, uh, and then I'm gonna go to wherever your hard drive is, wherever your Steam folder is. Then you're gonna go to user data, no, no, never mind, not user data. You're gonna go to Steam Apps, <laughs> then to Common, and then scroll down till you find Source Filmmaker. You're gonna go to Game, User Mod, sound, and then I already have my own custom file set up here, so I'm going to do that. You're just going to paste that in there. And you can also make some subfolders, which I already have set up. So I'm going to exit out of there. We're going to start up the SFM. Okay, so I've started up the uh, Source Filmmaker here, so what I'm going to do is make a new session. Create. Okay, so I don't have anything set up, so I'm gonna just pick a random map here. Uh, let's do Nucleus, I guess. Let's wait for it to load up. Okay, so as you can see, I have my uh, camera here set up on my map. Gonna go to uh, Create Animation Set for a New Model. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look in the TF Movies folder. Uh, scroll down, and as you can see, there's all these HWM models. You want to select these to do lip sync, if, even if you're going to do it in a uh, automatic lip sync. But for this one, I'm obviously going to use manual lip sync, which, in my opinion, looks a lot better, and I'm sure a lot of people will say that, hey, it looks a lot better. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I got my medic. Gonna go to my uh, motion editor and just put him down on the ground so he looks right. <laughs> Hit enter. Okay. Gonna zoom in on his face. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our audio file from earlier. Gonna go under the dialog. Add clip to track. Gonna go to our user mod folder. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of them. Gonna find that one, which was speed, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, there's our speed file right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, motion editor. In my opinion, this is the easiest way to do manual lip sync. Okay, so now I'm in the motion editor, and as you can tell, I have the face and lower tongue and, uh, meh, bleh, bleh, face, <laughs> lower face and tongue selected on uh, my model here. But note that I have all of time selected, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift and then I'm just going to drag, and as you can see I can select my time. Now notice that I have these bookmarks selected, which I can drag freely, and you create one by pressing M. What you can do with these is mark all your syllables for your uh, audio file, and if you notice I have some of them set up here, and those uh, kind of help you organize your uh, phonemes. Notice that I'm in the phonemes tab up at the top. Now on my audio, it's dude seriously is like the first part of the uh, audio, so I'm gonna make that real quick. Basically select the time where your audio starts, which is basically right here, up in there, so I'm gonna drag that here gonna select the little uh, bar thingy and move that. Now I can edit uh, what he says. 
No, first part is do, so duh. But notice his tongue is a little weird, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect the tongue. Control Z to undo that. Just select lower face. You might have to do that on certain models. It depends. Okay, so now that I have duh in there, it looks pretty good. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my little uh, time selection over, and the next sound is ooh. And it ends about from here to there, so I'm going to drag that again. Easy enough. I'm going to go back to my phonemes and select an ooh sound. So there's a whole bunch of them. Just kind of find out which one works the best. And I should probably select tongue too, because I unselected that the last time. So there's ooh, ooh, and oh. They all kind of look the same, but whatever. Ooh probably will look the best. <laughs> It really just depends. Okay, so do... Okay, so the next one is an S sound, which goes from here to here, so I have that selected. I just put bookmarks mainly so you guys can see where I'm putting them. I really don't need them because I've been doing uh, <laughs> manual uh, lip syncs for so long that I'm kind of used to the, uh, getting them done, so... I'm gonna select an S. Some of them are kind of annoying to find, but they're all in there, pretty much. And his tongue's messed up again. Ugh hate that. So, there we go. Nice S. And you just kind of keep doing that for every syllable of your audio. And now, depending on how long your audio is, and depending on the shots you're doing, I mean, I've already kind of split that into two, um, it can take uh, only a couple minutes, or it can take hours and hours and hours to do lip sync, especially on like a really large project that's uh, very audio heavy. Now on this one, it's probably only take me a couple of uh, minutes, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, finish this up. Now, as you can see, it's starting to get uh, a little weird here, so let's kind of go over it and see if your audio matches. So mine is dude seriously, so dude seriously. But see, it is a little bit rough. So what we're gonna do is we are going to select all of time for however long our little animation here is. We're gonna go back to the uh, procedural tab. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select smooth. Now depending on how smooth you want the uh, animation, just kind of do it a little bit for your uh, lip sync. Because if you do it too much, it's going to look like crap. And if you do it too little, it's also going to look like crap. So, <laughs> just kind of got to find the right balance. Just kind of drag that out there. So, dude, seriously. <laughs> Looks good enough. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, finish up the last part here. I'm going to make it speedy so you guys can still see what I'm doing.
Okay, so as you can see here, I have finished this whole segment of audio, and that thing took me less than f five minutes, I want to say. It really wasn't that bad. <laughs> um, okay, so now that I have this all together, as you can see, I have all the syllables in there perfectly. Now, you might have noticed that I kind of dragged on this last part, I dragged my time selection in a little bit as to make it go down like that. Just basically it makes it uh, a lot smoother. All you do is you go to the end of your uh, time selection here, where the little double arrow appears, and you just drag in and out. You don't even have to click any other buttons. And you can also do that on the other side as well. That helps when you want to smooth out your animations in the uh, motion editor. And you can also see how it looks in the graph editor here, which is basically the exact same as in the uh, motion editor, but you can do a lot more uh, fine-tuning stuff, basically, in it. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it other than that. Um, so yeah, basically I have my little audio section here all done. So anyway, I like um, finishing all my lip sync beforehand, so that way while I'm animating the rest of him, I don't have to worry about like if his head moves, am I gonna like, you know, mess up his audio because of that. <laughs> That's another thing in uh, Source Filmmaker you gotta watch out for. When you do manual lip sync, be very careful not to move your sound file, otherwise it'll go totally out of whack with what your animation is. Now when you have your uh, automatic lip sync, that won't really happen so much, but you know, just be really careful. And what you can do here is, see how there's a little lock here on the dialog? Just click that, and it'll automatically lock it with when whatever uh, scene you're in, so if you drag the thing... somewhere. Uh, here, I'll show you an example. See, now, oh, if you like drag the other shot beforehand, the audio will still be linked up, so make sure that thing is locked when you do your uh, manual lip sync. And you can drag it back and do whatever. <laughs> so, pretty easy. I don't know why people always complain about manual lip sync, but, you know, it's not my problem. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hopefully that helped you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Dude, seriously, my upload speed really sucks.